welcome back to Horn of the Collector with me, Jace. And yeah, this is a video that I must admit, I've sort of stewed over this for a day, a full day, maybe a couple of days now, whether or not to do a video on this. And I thought, actually I will, it's sort of, well, I'll get to the reason why in a minute. Because first of all, I just want to just detract briefly, because quite a few, well, a few of you messaged me in regards to the Primal Studio Quartz Scale Alerts piece. Now, I emailed them last week. Now, I actually heard back from them on Sunday. And apparently, the delay is caused by, according to them, an issue with quality control at shipping. I can only assume from that that there was obviously some issue with the shipping containers. Maybe they sent the wrong boxes or there was... Anyway, whatever. But apparently it's all sorted and literally I got up Monday. This was Sunday I got the email. Monday morning I got up and I had my email saying that my item is ready to ship. So I'm assuming you all will be getting or maybe I've already had that email. So he should be shipping sometime this week. In fact, any, any day now. So brilliant. Okay, let's get back on topic. So I want to start off by saying a few things. First of all, I know zero about Final Fantasy. All I know is it's a long-running series of computer games that are extremely popular. I've never played them, I've never bothered to find out anything about them. I know Zilch. I know even less about the company Square Enix. So I just wanted to get that out there. So I know nothing about them. Thirdly, this piece that was, well, it was actually pre uh, previewed on the next Showcase 3, but we all saw it on the Showcase 4, and literally within hours of the Showcase coming out, the price came out. Now, as I said in my last video, and I stand by that, and I still think this even now, this is one of the, if not the best statues I have ever seen. I've ever seen. The, the just the engineering of it, the, the, the paint application, the, the design, the, the amount of work is exemplary. It looks phenomenal. I'm sure Final Fantasy fans are extremely frustrated, I would think, actually, because... The, the crux of this is the fact that I'm pretty easy going. As any of you that have watched this channel know, I'm pretty easy going when it comes to statue prices. You know, when statue prices come out, I don't get wound up or frustrated. I certainly don't get angry and stressed out like, like some of you do. You know, I, I accept that that's the price and I'm either going to pay it or I'm not going to pay it. Simple as that. Now, this is the first time I've seen a statue price where I, my, well, my first thought was this, this has got to be a mistake. This is, this is an error. And then when I found out that it wasn't, that this this one six scale Final Fantasy piece by SE and with collaboration with Prime One is nine thousand pounds. Nine thousand pound. Yeah, um, it's the first time I was like, my first thought was that's ridiculous. That is utterly ridiculous. Anyone that said to me that that is greed, this is the first time I would sit there and say, do you know what, mate, I I, I have to agree with you on this because I can't work out where the £9,000 on this is. So I, start, I started thinking about it in a slightly more logical way. So I tried to think of the most expensive pieces I've ever seen prior to this. And I was thinking about the Sideshow life-size Darth Vader piece. What was that? That was about £7,500, I think it was. The Boba Fett one was about seven, it was just a couple of hundred quid cheaper. I thought about the Queen Studios 1-1 scale Thanos bust. I mean, look at the size of that thing. It, I think it was about half the price of this, less than half the price of this. Infinity Studios 1-1 um, scale Sauron bust. Again, less than half the price. And these are pieces that have enormous presence in any room that they're displayed in and uh, again the work and the detail bloody blah, blah, blah that goes into that but then I'm gonna ask thinking that oh, well now I'm thinking about pieces I don't own comparing it to a piece I don't own and never will and <laughs> so I thought about it in another way I keep track of all my expenditure with statues so I keep track of what the statue cost me what the shipping on it was and what the import fee was by the way so I totaled up my collection what I paid for the statues, not the import fees and shipping, just the statues. So that's Gandalf and the Balrog Plus by Prime One, another Prime One, the half scale Terminator by Prime One, Weta, Bilbo, and Bag End. Obviously, Sauron, you can see behind me, Escape Off the Road, the two Weta six scale pieces at the top. All those busts and bits and pieces. I've got my 1 1 scale custom alerts upstairs. All those pieces added together don't come to £9,000. So that made me really sit back and think. 
So that's like me sliding my entire collection across the table. And I still got to give you some money to have that one piece slid back. Now, and it's not even that limited edition either. It's 600 pieces. Now, I've always, I've always thought this. I've thought when an edition size comes out and it's over 500, that to me is, oh, that's not really limited, is it? That's, that's a lot. More than 500 is quite a lot. We were talking about Lurtz, I was talking about Lurtz previously. Even that, the, the regular and the X put together don't come to 500 pieces. So, I think they're being very optimistic, thinking they're going to sell 600 of these anyway. Um, to be honest, and going from the, the mass outrage, which I can understand, I don't know if it's outrage, I think it's more shock. Genuine shock. And, I don't know, can maybe some of you out there know more about, well it's not hard to know more about the, the company or Final Fantasy than I do because I know nothing. I, I, I saw a few comments of people saying, oh in all fairness it, it's about what I expected or I think it's a fair price. We all knew that SE were going to put a very high price tag on this and there was a two, literally two or three comments where people were seemingly quite acceptable of the £9,000 price tag and seemingly were going for it. How much of this is online bravado of people just wanting to appear? £9,000. I can do £9,000. I do £9,000 all day. You know, because there is a lot of that goes on. Um, I don't know. So this is this is where maybe some of you can let me know. Comment below. What, what do you think? This is the one time, guys, where I will put my hand up and say, yeah, I was shocked by that price. I think that is vastly overpriced. Thinking about it with what I own and what I physically got, I can push myself with this piece from, from the images and the video that I've seen. And thinking what you can get, what you can get within the statue community now, either top range pieces or what these cost. I can get to maybe £4,000 on this on this piece. Four and a half thousand, half the price. You know. I, I can't I can't get anywhere near nine thousand pounds on it. Not what you could buy for that. I mean my entire collection and have change. Well you wouldn't have change because you'd have to pay the shipping. Um, <laughs> which comes to quite a bit. Um so yeah, well I mean let me know. Let me know in the comments what do you all think. I mean I don't know enough about the company Square Enix and I don't know anything about Final Fantasy. It's only what I've read in the last 48 hours, which is a colossal amount. I mean, I even saw there was uh, online that the, the guy that they had on the program, the guy that invented, uh, invented the guy that uh, came up with uh, Final Fantasy, you know, the, the creator of Final Fantasy. Apparently he came up and was it on Twitter or something? He put that even he was shocked at the price. Even he questioned the price that SE had put on this. Um, again, it's only what I've read online. And I say, it, it, I think it was posted just about on every single, certainly every single statue group that I'm on, and was met with a whole trade of like people just. And it was the first time I read these comments, I was like, well, you know what? Normally I read comments with people, oh, I'm outraged by the price. I'm thinking, oh, bloody hell, it's not that bad. Uh, <laughs> But this time I was like, I'm, I'm totally on, on side with you. I, I just, I've never known a price tag so high on something that I just can't get anywhere near, you know, where that price is. What, how, how that, you're getting, that's nine grand. I just can't get there. I can't get there. So let me know. What do you all think? I, I, I it was one of them ones. I wanted to do this video because I know I've always been sort of quite easy to go with prices and I've always sat on this channel and I've said, you know, the price is the price and, you know, you've got to, you know, everything's going up and you, we've got to accept it. And yeah, maybe they've pushed, maybe they've pushed their, you know, their profit margins or whatever, but it is a choice and I stand by what I've said before. And but this is the one time where I'm probably the same as most of you, all of you possibly, where I, I'm completely dumbfounded by the pricing of this piece. And I, I feel for people who are Final Fantasy collectors who would probably love to have this piece, but how can you justify such an enormous, a huge amount of money on one piece? I don't know. Let me know. What do you all think? Stick in the comments below. 
If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like, please, everyone. And obviously, any of you who haven't done so already, I'd really appreciate if you consider subscribing to the channel. Every single one of you clicks that subscribe button. It really helps the channel, and I'm hugely appreciative of it. Okay, guys, all being well, the next video should be Lert's unboxing. Although, I have had something else arrive today from Weta. So, I might do a video on that. So I don't know yet. In all fairness, I can't remember what I ordered. <laughs> I know I ordered several pieces, but anyway. Um, okay, I'm going to go. <laughs> so I've just got, literally just got back from work. I'll catch you all soon. I hope you're all having a great week. And yeah, yeah, I'll get on the next video. Take care of yourselves, all of you, and I'll speak to you soon. ta a bit.